My daughter ass gang, what's up my grub hug gang? This is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? That's right, I got the Coca-Cola shirt on that I had on last night. Do not judge me, I just put it on for the podcast. <laughs> Alright, family. Last night podcast was wonderful, man. We got a chance to talk about the tips. Uh, it, it, it It's a sore subject for a lot of people. Um... I really, I really gonna just sit back and see what happens, you know. So, but I, I feel like this: whatever they're doing in the dark, it will come to light. So, if they're doing something with the tips, it's gonna because somebody already started that, and and once the government get involved, I'm pretty sure the government is gonna get involved or the FBI, or whatever. Soon they get involved, man, uncover everything. Um, we'll be taken care of, you know what I mean? Same thing with the Instacart incident, and, and um, you know, everybody's and, and every company that you work for is always a greedy person. There's always somebody with greed, and greed destroys everything, man. You know what I mean? But whatever the outcome, man, I ain't gonna speak on it. Whatever the outcome comes, that's what it'll be. Right now, man. I enjoyed doing DoorDash um, part-time. I, this was a great week for me. I'm over 300 and something. So that means I'm getting a lot of stuff paid and, and taken care of. Now, guys, I got to be honest with you. When I started DoorDash, man, I was in debt. I was over $21,000 in debt and whatnot. I'm talking about just debt, debt, credit cards, and, you know, moving up here to Tampa and all this, working these little, you know, Anyway, but DoorDash, with the money that I was making with DoorDash, elevated me to the point where I can get rid of all that debt in a little bit of time. You know what I mean? So I'm happy with DoorDash. I mean, there's no other food app that did that for me. You know, when I was making, when I was averaging $800 a week, and I was, I was going in a different time plus my paycheck, Man, I was able to get out of that real quick. You know? So I thank you, DoorDash, for that. Now, on the back end, if, you, if you're doing something with the tips that you ain't had no business doing, I pray that they recover that. I uncover that, should I say. And bust y'all butt. But till then, I ain't got nothing bad to say about you. Just keep giving me orders. All right, guys, I cut my app on in about three minutes. But I, I stay busy, so very happy with doing that. Uh, I just want to thank one of the family members who seen me and the wife here at um, Walmart and whatnot. He recognized me, came over, he said some nice things, and he gave me and my wife two Brazilian sodas. They are very, very delicious. They are very good. High in calories, but they good. They're 100, 100 calories, but the soda is good, man. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but they, they, they're they small cans. They He told me the name, but you know, I couldn't, you know. I could barely speak English. I know damn well I can't speak Brazilian. He told me the name of it, but I can't think of the name of it. But they are very good, man. And thank you for introducing me to that. I, I'm going to buy me a six-pack of that, and I'm going to drink me some Brazilian soda. <laughs> they are, are very good. I can't drink too many of them because they're high in calories. But thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, I recognize you as soon as I seen you from um, from um, Chick Fil A. But thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Much love. Thank you for being nice to me and the wifey. You know, I, I really appreciate that. You said some kind words. And continue to watch the video. I appreciate you, man. Nothing but love here, baby. And the dasher that snitched on me with the cop, man. <laughs> Don't do that. No <laughs> Alright guys, I had a great time last night Miss Trina stopped by We need to find out about the book uh, I normally do it at 10, 10 30 guys System does not Shut recognize out. this command Please rephrase your command But I forgot I had to go And pick pick up a family member From the airport I apologize that I had to go I forgot all about that man I had to go take care of some business I'm so sorry. Normally, I, I, I stayed at 10.30, but I had to go. You know. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everything that y'all do, man. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, last night was the most people we had in the chat room at one time, over 27 people. 
Oh man, it got up to 28. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Darius Davis stopped by the guy that created uh, the one the uh, Forgiveness Friday. Uh, working on getting his shirt together, man. This shirt business is not an easy business. I wish I would have stayed with my first choice and I let my um, my sponsors, what's it called? But the sponsors don't always make the best best um, decisions. You know what I mean? So from here on out, I'm not doing that no more. This person would have had all my shirts done by now. Yep. But they getting done. Now my ladies line that I do, my ladies line of shirt, uh, I'm going to hook up with Miss Trina. She's a good designer. She's good. She got a good eye for business. Uh, She's going to help me with my ladies line. I'm going to let her do her thing. I'm just going to give her ideas. She's going to make it work. And then get this website created so y'all can just go buy everything from the website you don't even have to talk to me you don't even have to send me an email just shop shop till you drop we're gonna have hats we're gonna have pens we're gonna have everything everything that you put your name on i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do some of my crazy saying some of the stuff i'm gonna go through the video guys and on some of the stuff i say that y'all really like i'm just gonna throw that on the shirt because i really don't know what i'm saying it just comes out I don't know what I'm saying to y'all say something. I'm going to do a coffee line. You know, one of my saying is going to be uh, something crazy. Like, I don't know. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to, I don't want to give up all my ideas. Because people be stealing ideas. But, you know. I'm really going to do it, guy. Okay? Soon I get all my days together. I'm just gonna start throwing sands on shirts to fund my videos. So nobody can say, oh, this and that. When you say, you're gonna be like, damn, I remember when he said that on this video. You know? Then we're gonna come out with our cologne line. Fresh banana. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie. Hazelnut. I get somebody to do the, do the I, I get somebody to do the commercial. <laughs> I'm just joking about the cologne, guys. I just thought that was funny. I didn't know I was talking crazy like that. Tell Benita said something. Yeah, that was funny, man. But I would. If they had a cologne mouth called French Vanilla, man, I would wear it. Yes, I would. I mess around and be licking my own skin. I right, just cut the app on. I didn't start till 8 30. Well, you might as well say 8 15. Because they allow you to start 15 minutes early. Come on, let me get this light. Let me get this light. Yes, yes, yes. I got the light. Well, everybody that showed up and showed out last night, thank you, guys. The, ch the uh, chat room was lit last night. I'm not going to lie to you. Glad Miss Trina stopped by. She ain't been by in a long time. She's not a dasher. When we talk about other subjects, she'll come in and talk about it. She hasn't been around in a while. I know she better get that damn book to me. So my, I can help my buddy sell some books. Stop playing. But she says it's done. It's all added. Now it's working. Picking and choosing what's going to be, I guess, laid out. That's the job I don't want to have. Alright. I'm going to get this coffee right now, guys. I'm going to get this coffee. <laughs> in the text. All right, I'll be right back, family. <laughs> All right, family, I'm back. Just came from Dunkin' Donut. I got me a nine trinity. Got a nine trinity. Guys, I tried to teach somebody else how to make it, but it wasn't strong enough to push the <laughs> push the thing all the way down. But I'm standing in line talking to a friend of mine, and uh, I feel this woman over my shoulder. 
you know, he was talking about um, that the book and whatnot that trainer is editing, and um, I was trying to type something. I think it was experience, and I left off an E or R. I don't know. I left off something. She was like, "Excuse me, you misspelled that word." I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> she said, "You misspelled that word." It's, you left off an R. Experience. I said, oh, thank you. She said, I'm sorry, I'm a teacher. I said, are you a private teacher? Because this is a private moment. <laughs> she started laughing. She said, I'm sorry. I wasn't reading your text or not. I said, I said all that. And you look and see that I missed the experience. I said, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. I didn't even finish writing the text, so I didn't even get a chance to use the word. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I felt it over my shoulder, but I wasn't sure. I just thought that she was just one of them ones, one of them people that get up real close. I didn't know she was trying to read my text or she was reading my text. So instead of me writing the word, because I didn't, I knew it didn't look right. I didn't. I just used another word to replace. It. She, if she would have helped me right then and there before I erased the word, it would have been alright. But that's funny, man. Don't have an order yet, but we are on the clock. Today is Sunday. I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. I want to thank the Lord for letting me use everything. Or should I say, I went to sleep, woke up the same way I was, able to use every limb. My fingers, my hands, you know, my feet, everything is working okay. So I want to thank Him for that. You know, I woke up with a wife beside me. <laughs> you know? yeah. Guys, you ever been asleep and you wake up in the middle of the night and you just watch the one that you wish sleep? Why do we do that? I think that's creepy. My wife used to do that to me. I wake up, she be looking, staring at me. I go, like she scared me. <laughs> Cause you don't wake up to look at somebody, look somebody in the eyes. You know what I mean? I did that to her last night. I kept tickling her nose, but she, she, but she out, she out. But that's funny to me, ladies. Y'all do it a lot, ladies. I don't know why y'all do it. Like y'all trying to see if we dreaming about another woman or, or we thinking about another woman. I just do that out there. I don't know what y'all be thinking. I'm just messing. But I'm waiting on the order. I'm gonna go ahead up to this Chick Fil A and sit for a little bit. Um, Sunday is a hit or miss. Some Sundays are real good. Some Sundays I don't get anything. But it's a it, it a hit. It is a hit or miss. We supposed to went to the gym this morning, but we didn't get up at six o'clock. I wasn't going to. You know, I wanted to. So next week, man, the wife, we're gonna get a consistent schedule. We fell off our schedule because she was sick. She's doing real good. She wasn't sick. She has um, stomach pain. She don't have no pain no more. So now we're going to go back to the gym. We're going to do it like every other day. And I want to support her because it was her, her idea, you know, to get in better shape. So I want to support that. I don't want to get lazy because it's easy. it's easy for people to stop doing something when they don't see results. But you gotta give that, uh, uh, you gotta give it time. Everybody want that miracle that as soon as you do something, you see the results right away. But when you gotta work towards it, it's easy to quit. Hello, honey. Nah, I got it, I'm recording. Yeah, I know. I, I just scraped up enough to get uh, you a coffee. <laughs> you know, I had to go to my reserve to change underneath the seat. I found a dollar twenty five cent under there. You know, you know, your boy gonna make it happen. That's what I do. Yeah, I'm getting some air. Well, I'm, I'm getting some air. I stopped at the um. No, my videos are thirty minutes. Okay. <laughs> Let me get 
get this air. I'm right around the corner. I said, I'm gonna get this air real quick. Hold on for a minute. Hope they cut the air on for me. Let me get some free air. I'm back, family. Yeah, I left my wallet home. So I had to go to reserve, bro. Whenever I drop change underneath the seat, I don't pick it up. I just let it stay down there. That's what I call my reserve spot. Sometimes I'm behind two, three dollars in change in the seat, underneath the seat. That's funny. That seat has saved me plenty of time. Oh man. So family, if you're dashing today, I hope you make a lot of money today. Like I said, here in Tampa, Sundays are hit and miss. If you get on early and once they start giving you orders, you're okay. But on Sunday, I normally get two or three orders and I'm happy, you know. I'm already over 300. Uh, I'm doing way better than I did in the last couple of weeks. So you know I'm happy. And minivan making all that noise. Somebody in a hurry. So that's what it is, family. It's all about that money and being in the right market. <laughs> um, once one family member asked me, how do I find the right market? You got to be able to work different zones. You can't just work the same zone. You got to work the zone. What I try to do is I try to work the zone to give me the most money on that day. Like take for instance, like temperatures do not do nothing for me on Sunday, so I don't work temperatures. I work North Tampa. Uh, North Tampa has everything open. They have all the malls and everything open. <coughs> but for the Chick Fil A orders during the week, uh, temperatures is the bomb. It's the best zone to ever work. You know, during the week, not on the weekends. So you got to know your zone, you got to know your market, you got to know your money areas. You just got to make sure that you work in the zone that's going to produce you money. You don't want to work zones that that's dead. And they got some zones that's dead. But you got to be that one that find that, that, that gold at the end of the rainbow. And you know, there's a lot of zones I haven't worked yet. I haven't worked, uh, I worked Clearwater one time, but I haven't worked uh, Spring Hill. Lakeland. I haven't worked the ones that's all the way out. They too far out. I haven't worked those yet. But I'm pretty sure it's good money because of people, other family members be asking me, um, do I ever work this area? It's pretty good. Dollar worked that area. Uh, the one area that I want to go to, I think it's Porter Ritchie. I was over there one time, I think. I didn't do too good because I didn't know. I was... I, I probably was in a bad location. <laughs> but if you don't know how to find the information, just use Google. You can ask how many schools, how many um, colleges, how many restaurants, how many this, how many that. You even can ask Google how many restaurants use DoorDash in your area. Come on, camera. And it'll tell you. And then that area, if that area is lit, then you should be able to do good. But use Google Assistance. Or you could use a Lexus. Now you just can you can just use voice command and ask to Google anything you want or Lexus anything you want. I wish they had that when I was in school. I probably would have passed more tests than I failed. <laughs> I seen a, uh, I seen something on YouTube where the boy did his his entire science paper and got an A by using. Google and Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, I'm saying. I'm saying it wrong. Alexa. Yeah. He did his whole science paper. And he got an A. I was so jealous. I was like, gee, because my hardest I had to work to get that A in science. Science was, was fun for me. Biology, I hate it. That's what we're going to do um, Wednesday throwback. What was your favorite? Yeah, yeah. The class you hate the most in high school. That'd be a good topic. Yeah. There's so many classes that I hate. 
I think I hate anything that I didn't pass. You know? <laughs> That's not fair. I don't know what it's going to be, guys. I'm going to think of something. Right now, I need a water. I don't have a water. I'm not working all day today, guys. I'm only working till 5 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I got to be to work early today. Sundays is my early slash long day. But I'm looking forward to getting back to work, guys. I love what I do. You know, when you're still in love with what you do, it's hard. It's hard for you to stay away for a long time. But when I'm on vacation, man, I don't even think about the job. Trust me, damn. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're working a job, guys, you got to love what you do. Or you're gonna be miserable. You ever worked a job? You woke up and you woke up and you said, "Man." I don't want to go to this dumb A job, or man, I can't believe I got to work today. Oh, you know, if you're thinking like that, you need to get away from that job, man. That's not a good job for you. You got to be able to want to go to work so you can do a better job. If you got to talk yourself into going to work, man, you need to find another job. That's not your calling. You can complain, but if you love what you do, man, it's a wonderful feeling. All right, family, I don't have a water. I'm not going to bore y'all today. Um, just just today, today, find somebody to hug. You know what I mean? I'm going to go in here and hug my wife. I'm going to find somebody to hug all day today. And don't be a pervert when you're hugging, hugging women or uh, men. Don't be rubbing their back and whatnot. A hug is a hug. <laughs> don't be rubbing nobody back, sending no messages. So today, guys, do do me a favor, guys. Go out and give somebody a nice Care Bear hug. I got that from my two favorite dads. Uh, go out there and give somebody a Care Bear hug. Hug them like you care. All right, family, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, guys. I'm going in here and make me a toast. Talk to you later.